Good evening. It's Friday, February 19th, uh, 2021. And um, tonight is movie night. I hope you're going to join us on YouTube for um, The Fourth Floor, starring Julia Lewis. Um, I'll be on YouTube. Um, I'm sure you can leave comments on the movie, but... Um, uh, there uh, on YouTube, but I don't have a Facebook room where I could display the movie and we could chat during the movie. Besides, I don't like that. I can't stand it when people talk during the movie. Um, <clears throat> but um, I don't have very long. I can't. I don't have very mu uh, much time to finish this uh, video. But um, I want to hurry up and touch on a few things. First of all. Oh, my biggest stupid blonde moment last week was around Thursday night. Um, I had bought um, some vitamin gummies for women, you know, with extra vitamin C and D. Um, it was a more efficient way uh, um, to get my vitamins, and it was cheaper. It was like six ninety nine at Walmart. Um, I will never do that again because when I got up in the middle of the night, I ate the whole jar. Okay, well, by uh, mid-Saturday, I my stomach was cramping and I was farting liquid fire. Okay, okay, by by Monday, um, I'm at Bridges. I'm I'm not able to drink coffee. I can't eat solid foods. I can't even eat. Uh, I can't I can't swallow coffee or water or soup. It's really that bad. Okay, and um, I met up with one of my friends who swears to God that she's being trafficked around in a human sex trafficking ring, and I totally believe her 100%. If you have any positive vibes, please send them our way. She's moving to Anderson. Um, she had just moved to the West End. West End is the worst place in the world for a woman our age. Um, a single woman our age is really attacked. Um, she ended up, the place had um, bed bugs and, and roaches, and she, and she had to hurry up and get her stuff out of there. She lost everything, everything she owns. And that's, and that's sad. <laughs> okay, so if you only have a heart for women who are um, over the hill, <laughs> over 40, who've had their children ripped away from them and kidnapped and um, have been shoved into the human trafficking ring right here in America. Um, you know, do something about it. Don't just pray to your God, your higher power, right to somebody. Do something about it because it's not fair. We have never done anything so badly that we can't be able to be in our grandchildren's or our children's lives forever. It's ridiculous. And they traffic us around and try to kill us. Okay. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, and she has no choice. She has no, absolutely no choice and no respect. There is no one to help her because the system has, on purpose, turn the children and the grandchildren <clears throat> against the mothers and, um, you know, and, and we, we just, we're left alone to die. Okay. Um, and we're just not that bad of a people. We love our children. We've loved our, you know, we would love to have our grandchildren in our lives. We'd love to be that person. Okay. And, um, there's definitely something wrong with America. If they're, trafficking women out to die, putting them in a drink, you know, and, and, and just flushing them down the toilet and making us lose everything we own. Um, it's, and it's, and it's planned and it's on purpose and it's specific, spe specifically targeted attacks, targeted individual attacks. And, um, <clears throat> you know, don't pray for me because I don't trust you. Do something. Just send positive vibes our way, you know, but do something. Pick up your hand, write to somebody, <clears throat> pick up your purse, open your wallet, pay somebody <clears throat> to do something because it's bull crap. It's 100% bull pucky to do this to us. 
and I'm not the only one, there's many of us out there who have been victimized by the system, who has stolen, kidnapped our children, and also shoved them into a tra uh, sex trafficking ring. <clears throat> okay, and trying to um, hide it by killing us. Okay, but we are concerned mothers, and we still love our children, and we still deserve respect and love. Time and attention, publicity, and support. Anyway, <clears throat> so... So Monday, I'm like, oh my God, by this time, I'm really sick, okay, um, and I'm, <laughs> uh, I'm deciding, you know, I need hemorrhoidal cream for my herpes blisters on my butthole, because I'm farting fire, oh my God, and I'm so sore, I'm like, oh, poor baby diaper, you know, baby, when they have diaper rashes, all the acid, and you know, I'm like, oh my God, is that what that feels like, I'm so sorry, oh, I really have a new empathy for, you know, baby diaper rash and people with herpes. I'm so sorry for you guys. You know, that has to hurt. And, um, and so I, I'm getting on the bus and I go to Family Dollar and I'm getting my, you know, Rolaids and my, and my Pepto-Bismol and my ibuprofen and my hemorrhoidal cream. And, and I stop at the liquor store and I get a six pack of cream ale. Um, to clean out my, uh, intestines, uh, you know, drinking beer is very healthy for your system. If you know, uh, if you drink it in moderation, it's very healthy for you. I want you to know that. Um, and I got a two liter of Sprite. Okay. Then I get back on the bus. She's like, the lady, the driver flipped out. She was like, um, She's, and by this time, because I done forgot about the vitamins that I ate. I mean, I didn't remember that until like the end of this week. And, and by this time, my blonde moment, I'm thinking I'm dying of the coronavirus, right? And um, I'm thinking, you know, if I don't get this out of my system and, you know, get it taken care of, I'm going to die, right? So I'm taking myself seriously. Everything that's going on, I'm just like, everything's so serious right now. Um, I'm really like, human sex. They're really going to kill me. They're targeting me. They're going to kill me. I'm really dead. Okay. And um, nothing in my life is ever going to matter, ever. And I've written two books and I'm trying really hard to reach out to people in my situation. And I'm trying to, you know, speak out, be, be that person, you know, and everything is being hushed, hushed, just shushed, and I'm, I'm really upset about it, now I'm gonna die, no, oh my god, please don't let this happen to me, so I get on the bus, and the driver's like, why are you here twice, do you realize this is the second time I picked you up here, and I'm like, um, yes ma'am, yes, yes, I remember, I, twice, yes, here, yes, I remember, um, and she's like, why are you here twice? Well, because now I got to go home. The first time I had to go to the store. Well, this is the second time. Okay, lady, nothing in my life that I've ever done would ever warrant you getting that upset. I have never done anything that bad in my entire life for you to be that angry at me. So, um, she, I, I get off the bus and I'm coming home and saying, so, you know, the sheriff and the police are all swarming all over me. I'm like, oh my God, my butthole is burning like fire. Like my butt is in hell. And, and, and I'm, I'm like, what? I'm a drug dealer now because I was at the same bus stop twice in one day. I was picked up at the same spot, the same bus stop twice in one day by the same lady. And she flipped out and called the police. Are you kidding me? I'm like, oh my God. Something in this world has to change. Why is everybody attacking me? I didn't. I'm sick. I don't need this shit. My butt's already in hell. Somebody needs to have some mercy on my butt, please. I'm I'm gonna die already. Please don't do this to me. I don't deserve it. I don't deserve to die. I don't deserve none of this. I don't deserve to be treated like this. This is not how life is supposed to go. This is not right. Okay. I don't know what's wrong with that lady. But she had no right to just absolutely think that something's wrong with me because I'm at the bus stop twice. At, at the same same bus stop twice Monday. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> that, that's your job. Why don't you stop wasting police time and taxpayers' money on me because I'm not a criminal? Get over it. I'm a victim. So anyway, well. Look, oh, it's eight o'clock. I've got to go. So see me on YouTube. 
Um, we're watching The Fourth Floor, starring Juliette Lewis. She's as beautiful and as young as, as ever. Um, I believe th this is a new movie, but I'm not sure. I didn't read the credits. Um, but be there with me. It's 8 o'clock right now. It's time to go.